up, Kara. <laughs> That was a scene, uh, obviously, from Call Your Mother. For those not familiar, tell us about the show. Okay, so Jean, who you just met, is an empty nester um, in the beginning of the show who lives in Iowa, and she decides to get on a plane to, uh, to Los Angeles where her children are because she hasn't heard from her son in four days, and she's quite sure that there's something terribly wrong. Um, my son is played by Joey Bragg, and, uh, you know, she ends up staying through a series of events, and, um, it's really a, a show about what it's like to be a mom and get fired from, like, the job that you were, that you basically have been doing for the last, you know, 20-something years, oh. and the job that you thought was going to last forever, and what that's like. I'm in the middle of this right now, Kira. My middle's about to go to college. I'm losing two. So I, the jokes in here are so relevant for me. In your real life, do your kids call their mother? I feel like you're really close to them. You know, I, uh, do they? I mean, they definitely call me, and we definitely hang out. I feel really blessed and lucky that they want to hang out with me. Um, you know, do I hear like, mom, I really want your advice about something because you're so awesome and you've lived such a long and complicated you're life. So and I'm sure you have some <laughs> exactly. You're so wise and amazing. No, but, um, but you know, they want to hang out with me and that's amazing. And when they do finally say, mom, what do you think about this? Like, I have a thought about it, but I, you know, unlike, well, I try to keep my mouth shut most of the time and just be happy to be invited to the party. Oh, yeah, they go to you for sage words of wisdom. Yes, yes. you hope. Uh, the closer, fans for this show, Kira, went nuts. Any chance for a reboot? It's all about the reboot these days. You know, it's so funny. They talked to me about that. And really, my feeling about the closer when, you know, I mean, it was our decision. It was my decision to, to leave as much as I loved it because I didn't want to be one of those people that hung around for way too long and, like, you know, like fish, like it starts smelling after a while and you're like, oh, can she do anything else? But, um, you know, you never know. I mean, look, I've been in this business long enough to say never say never. I don't imagine it, but I would say never say never. You just don't know. Yeah, no, it seems like things are going just fine. Yes. Uh, right now. Uh, speaking of which, you and uh, your husband have been married now for uh, over 32 years, which is just which yeah. is like 75 years, yeah. I say, in like Chicago, right? If you're in Hollywood. <laughs> is it true your last anniversary, though, he bought you two goats? Best is that, is that the new 32-year mark? Uh, I'm <laughs> is in. that what happens? Yeah, it was pretty amazing. We were, um, you know, in Connecticut, and, and he was where we spent a lot of the pandemic, and he was like, you know, I got you an anniversary present, and I was like, no, you did not, because, of course, I got him nothing. Um, and, uh, and he said, well, we need to go down to the barn and like, you know, close your eyes and then opened up a stall. We have a couple of horses and he opened up a stall and there were two amazing goats and he let me name them. And one of them is Louie and the other one is Macon. Get it? Macon, Macon. Oh, and it. Kev. <laughs> they like to be sung to and they're absolutely loving and adorable beyond belief. Wait, go back to Kevin serenading the goat. So is this a regular occurrence? We're in. Can we come as well? <laughs> you know, actually, you can follow him on Instagram. They're on Instagrams, and he's, they've literally got, like, their own hashtag goat songs, and it's very funny. <laughs> Look at that. The goats have an IG account. Good, good for them. Um, Kara, since, since you've been a pioneer on so many levels, we wanted to ask you, what were some of your firsts? Okay, this is okay. going to be good. Here so we go. So just, like, sort of rapid fire. First kiss. You know, my first kiss, funnily enough, was on an ABC after school special where I was an extra playing Spin the Bottle. What? True story. That's the best first kiss ever. Never. Right there. Those after and school specials, some Wait, of them what, were what scary. Was, what was the name of the after school special? God, you know, I can't remember. Oh, we're going to find oh. it. We're going to find it. I'm about to Google right now, but right? go on. Oh, those were good. Okay, what was your first car? My first car was a really crappy 1971 Ford Pinto when <laughs> Ford Pintos were like yes. anything but cool. What color? It was a used car, white oh. with a red interior. Oh. It sounds cool, but trust me, there was nothing cool about it, not one thing. Wow. No, I co sign on the nothing cool about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do you remember, Kara, the first time uh, someone recognized you from a project that you were on? Um. Yes, actually. It was on another, when I was on Another World, which was a soap opera yes. back in the day, um, I went to this gospel show 
And I can't remember how I ended up there, but it was fantastic. And these women flocked to me afterwards and they were like, you're on my story. And like the love that came pouring out of them, I got to tell you, it was a highlight. It really was. I love that. They're like, you're Julia from my story. You're Julia from my story. And I was like, oh my God, I love this. First yeah, time you considered changing your last name to Bacon. You know, it's funny because when you get married, they that is what they do is they, they just automatically change your name to your husband's name, which is very strange and slightly offensive. Um, <laughs> it's like erase, 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 erase. And I, I had to go to, to the town hall to undo it. Because Kira Bacon, it's not your Kira Sedgwick. I don't see the Kira Bacon right there. I love that. I don't know. Bacon's a pretty awesome yeah. last name. Well, Kit Bacon, you need a longer maybe. The Bacon's a tough one. Uh, we love everything you got going on. Congrats on the new show. Keep kicking butt, Kira. And I, by the way, I was trying to Google. I was trying to Google the TV movie. You must have had it scrubbed. We're gonna find IMDb. it. <laughs> it was an extra. So oh, I, it was I an extra. That might be what it was. Those I love were that. Good Thank, you. Thank you, Kira. I love her. All right. Too. Call your mother airs Wednesdays on ABC at 9:30.